Well, we are just hours away from President Trump's travel ban taking effect after it was reinstated by the U.S. Supreme Court. The ban denies visas to people from six mostly Muslim countries unless they show close family or business ties to the U.S. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren live at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport with the latest on the controversial ban. Mike? Mary, that ban takes effect in about three hours at 8 o'clock Eastern, and we're told there are going to be immigration attorneys on hand here. You can see at the, at the arrivals board a number of international flights that will be arriving here at BWI Marshall tonight. There will also be assistance at Dulles Airport and at other airports around the country. In just hours, a pared-down version of the president's travel ban goes into effect nationwide. But there are concerns about who's exempted, leaving some travelers in limbo. What's your relationship? And if the person doesn't articulate a relationship that's satisfactory, what's going to happen? The ban, in the name of safety, covers those coming from six Muslim-majority countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. At one African airport, there were already people being turned away from U.S.-bound flights. All the governments, they should uh, reconsider that all the people are human. The Supreme Court did allow exceptions, people with work or family ties in the U.S., but some are taking issue with how the Trump administration is defining family. Grandparents and fiancés are not considered close enough, but step-siblings and daughters and sons-in-law are. Grandparents not being included is ridiculous because that's one of the main, I think, family members that usually gets left behind. These are very real lives that are being impacted. Dr. Zanab Chowdhury with Maryland's Council on American Islamic Relations tells WJZ immigration lawyers will be stationed at BWI Marshall Airport just in case. My organization is also sending attorneys um, to just be there, be present, hold signs saying if you need legal advice, we're here. Come ask us. These signs will be translated in different languages. And after the Supreme Court came out with its ruling earlier this week, conservative Justice Clarence Thomas predicted there would be a flurry of lawsuits because it left open a lot of loopholes here, and advocacy groups are gearing up for a, fly, for a fight at the International Terminal at BWI Marshall. Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. Mike, thank you. Lawyers are already stationed at several Los Angeles and New York airports to provide assistance to those who get challenged.